PNH is a highly related condition and it, um, it's very closely associated with aplastic anemia and really the etiology of uh, PNH likely stems from the immune escape of the same immune attack that patients with aplastic anemia see. So in evaluation of somebody who you suspect to have PNH, the evaluation is fairly straightforward. You send uh, flow cytometry and it will tell you whether the patient has a PNH clone. The treatment decision here is really guided by the size of the PNH clone and you would look at the PNH clone and granulocytes and then also um, seeing whether the patient actually has hemolysis. So there's a big distinction between finding a small PNH clone which likely is insignificant to somebody who presents with profound fluorid hemolysis and has a very large uh, very large clone who really is at risk for significant hemolytic anemia, thrombotic events, etc. And so that patient really should be treated with uh, complement inhibitors. So for in 2019, for complement inhibitor therapy, we have two approved um, agents. So one is eclizumab, the second is ravilizumab. Those two agents have been compared head to head in two different trials. One is the trial titled 301, which looks at treatment naive, um, treatment naive newly diagnosed patients with PNH, as well as uh, 302, which looked at patients who previously have been treated and so now are being sort of switched to ravilizumab. And then in this head-to-head -head randomized comparison, the two, the two drugs are virtually equivalent. What's different about them is the half-life for the ravilizumab agent, which is multiple, which is nearly uh, three times higher than that for ecolizumab. And so this really translates into a much more manageable and convenient treatment schedule, and a lot of patients prefer that for the quality of life reasons. Um, so for ecolizumab, for example, the treatment would be every two weeks. For ravilizumab, it's every two months. Um, both agents require immunization with uh, meningococcal vaccine as well as really immunization for all encapsulated organisms.